why God made him come out from his father's house to go somewhere. God asked him to look to, to see. And then he said that as far as his eyes could see, he would. So Abraham was only limited based on his vision. And To our video series on operating in an abundance mindset in today's video we're going to be talking about the importance of writing and vision boards in operating with an abundance mindset now what i believe personally is that writing presses things down from the spiritual into the physical realm even god understands the importance of writing and that is why in habakkuk it says that he should write the vision make it plain upon the tables that he that reads it would run with it and so writing is very important it, it makes it, it gives actuality to what you want in terms of abundance and i believe that that's a very easy way for you to operate in abundance mindset i remember when i was growing and this thing i wasn't even in jhs at the time i think i was in upper primary or so i came across this scripture in second corinthians 8 verse 9 and it reads that well you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that even though he was rich, yet to sake he became poor, so that we through his poverty might become rich. My life never remained the same after I came across that, that, that scripture. It, it just hit me so hard. And it was at the point where I had seen my dad move from having two Benz cars to almost being carless. And I knew that something had to change. And I, I, didn't, I didn't know how the change was going to come, but I, I went seeking answers. And so when I came across the scripture, what I did was I wrote the scripture out on a sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper. I remember that paper vividly. And then I pasted it on the wall in my mom's room. And every morning when I wake up and um, I'm, I'm dressing up or I'm, I'm, go I'm going to school, it's the first thing you see when you wake up. It's the first thing you see when you enter the room because where it was in the, in the door, it was just like directly opposite. And that really reinforced abundance in my mind at that early age. And I always said that it was not my portion to be poor because Jesus that was rich was made poor for my sake. And it really changed the way I looked at things. It really, it was a huge mind sh mindset shift for me just because I had that scripture and I looked at it over and over again until it lifted up from the pages on that sheet of paper into my spirit and made me think and be the kind of woman I am today. And that goes to show you how some of these things can really affect your your thinking process in terms of mindset and in terms of abundance mindset. And now with technology, you just you, you don't just have to write. There are what we call vision board. So vision board is um, basically like a photo or a flyer that has everything that you want in there. So if if you are saying you want to be married, your vision board can have like a couple in there. If you want children, it can have it in there. If you want a kind of car, it can be in there. And as you look at it every morning and evening and you pray over it, it just gets manifested in your life. And so I think that that is another way to, apart from writing, that you can operate in an abundance mindset. And now while I am, I am a Christian, I am very careful about the kind of concepts I incorporate into my 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 routine and all of that because i do not want to do anything contrary to the bible so let's bring him back to the bible remember when abraham could not understand what god the vision god was giving him god asked him to go out and count the stars you know because god also believes in pictorial representation that should just go to explain to you how important vision boards are when abraham could not understand why god made him come out from his father's house to go somewhere god asked him to look to to see and then he said that as far as his eyes could see, he would... So Abraham was only limited based on his vision. And so visions are very important. And that is why I go to the place of prayer with a diary, with, with a notebook. So that when... Because at the place of prayer, God talks to us. God gives us visions. And it's important that you write it to re-establish or reaffirm them, first of all. And also to keep looking at it so that as you look at it, you will run, just as the Bible says. And so let's get into our challenge with writing and vision board creation. So here's the challenge. What I think we can do in terms of writing is just to write things that you you feel very passionate about. You are probably in a place that you think that you're not supposed to be there, you are stuck, you're stagnant, 
right where you want to be. Make it plain. Look at it every morning and evening. It might not come in the next month or two months, but just like me, over a decade, you would see the result. You, and, and I believe that in operating an abundance mindset, we are not looking for quick results here. It's about mindset change. It's about character transformation. And so you know that we are not really thinking about short-term goals a month or two. Over the years, as you do that, decorate your house with these affirmations, decorate your house with these writings, with these vision boards, you look at it on your refrigerator, you know, it will really, really help you operate in abundance mindset because you have a pictorial representation, you have the words to remind you of where you want to be. And that will really, really help you stay in that mindset.